Okay, good evening. Welcome to. Minute math number 57. Minute math number 57. Today we're going to have to, we're uh, going to be doing a, filming from a different location, right? Yeah. Okay. So, but here we go. For his birthday, Bert gets a box that holds 125 jelly beans, which is uh, when filled to capacity. A few weeks later, Carrie gets a larger box full of jelly beans. Her box is two times as high, two times as wide, and two times as long as Bert's. Approximately, how many jelly beans did Carrie get? Do you understand the problem? Yeah. Okay, tell me a little bit about the problem. Well, we've got two people, and they each get a box of jelly beans. Okay. The first person gets 125 jelly beans in the box. Yep. And the other person gets two times as long, two times as high, and two times as wide as the box. Okay, and what's in the box that the second person gets? Jelly beans. Okay, and what's the question? How many jelly beans did she get? Okay, you ready to get going? So yeah. I got, I'm going to erase this so we can get going. Okay, go ahead. How would you figure this out? Well, Boots, full, Boots holds 125. Okay. The sides are 5 by 5 by 5. How do you know that? 5 cubed is 125. Okay, well it doesn't say it's 5 by 5 by 5, but that's okay, you can pretend yeah. it is. Okay? Just to make it a little easier. Just to, okay, that's fine. So, it's two times as, it's two times this, which is two times five, two times five, two times five, it's a ten, ten. Well, it doesn't say it's a ten by ten by ten, though. But it did say it was two times as wide, two times yeah. as tall, and two times as long. Okay, great. This would hold, a, this would hold a thousand. This would hold a thousand. Okay. Pretty interesting. So when we multiplied two times as long, two times as wide, and two times as high, how many? What, what did we multiply the number of jelly beans by? Multiplied it. What do we by multiply 125 eight. by eight, which is what? Which is a thousand. Eight is not a thousand. <laughs> when we multiplied by eight, why did we multiply by eight? Do you think? Because five by five by five times two by two by two. Yeah, so we've multiplied by 2 by 2 by 2, which is? Yeah, which is 8. 8, okay. And so if we look at this, you can actually kind of draw a picture of what the box would look like. So here would be the first box, right? Yeah. And then we have a second box that's twice as high, twice as long, and twice as deep, right? Yeah. And you can kind of see that you would have... If that picture works, you can see there's eight boxes. Oh, there's little boxes. Oh, there's little boxes there. Okay, hey, good job. So this is a problem from the Mathematical Association of America's Minute Math blog that they put out every day. And this is from an old junior high math contest. And guess what? Only 25% of the people got this one right. Hmm. Pretty good. Pretty good problem, right? Yeah. All right, good job tonight, sweetie.